What up though, y'all? It's Chris. Appreciate you connecting with me today. I wanna jump into the topic of it being a marathon and not a sprint. What do I mean by that? I mean that I want you to keep working on the things that you want to achieve for as long as it takes to achieve them. Oftentimes people quit working on whatever it is that they're working on right before they were gonna have a breakthrough. In other cases, they quit working on something just way too soon, all right? They kind of want everything fast. And I think most people do. We want quick results. They say, get rich fast, lose weight fast. I mean, just all these things fast. Progress takes time. And it's important for you to understand that and accept that, that progress takes time. You're not going to transform your body in an instant. You know, they got all these surgeries and pills and tonics cocktails for you to take oh you'll get this body in 30 days or you'll get this body in 90 days oh it's somebody down there taking uh taking photos i'm gonna hang back here for a little bit it looks like she's trying to get some photos or something for the ground so i'm gonna hang back here guys got a nice camera and stuff but people they want things fast they want, you know, they want that beach body fast. They want to get wealthy fast. They, they, they want to progress in certain relationships faster than they probably should. You know, you met some woman, you like her, you're already thinking about marrying her and you should, if you believe she's the one, but maybe hold off and vet her just a little bit longer. All right, we can walk forward now. Maybe hold, hold off and it better just a little bit longer because perhaps there's some behaviors about her that she hasn't shown you yet that'll reveal themselves in time. So rushing or trying to rush, it's not beneficial to you. It's oftentimes beneficial to give things the proper time that they are due. Give things the time that they are owed. You don't wanna push too fast. You don't wanna quit too fast. Get out of your head about expecting things to happen instantly or almost instantly or right away in any way because all of the things that you want to do, all of the things you want to achieve, they are going to take a, a massive time investment in order for you to accomplish. I'm over here, downtown Detroit, of course, as always. I'm by a handful of cool places. Behind me over there is the Little Caesars. Global Resource Center. Um, behind me, Comerica Park. Uh, a little bit that way. I don't know if you can see the flagpoles hanging out. It's the new Detroit versus Everybody store. We had one over in the Easter Market, which I haven't been over there to walk in a while. But maybe I'll make my way over there to walk coming up soon. Um, we had a store over there. It burned out. I don't know what happened with that, the details, but ultimately it burned out and they got this new location over here that it is an upgrade. It's a, it's a really nice shop. I was just uh, walking past there admiring how nice the new shop is. Go ahead and sit here. It rained a little bit earlier, so some things are kind of wet. It's one of those 90 degree days and it's even hotter than it was earlier because the rainwater is drying up, making it uh, humid on top of being hot. But I don't want to get too far away from the point that I'm trying to make to you guys, which is that you are going to have to invest a significant amount of time in whatever your goals are in order to see them through. Trust the process, keep pushing, understand that it is a marathon and not a sprint. You are really going to have to dig deep and figure out if you're that guy. And if it's something, if it's something that you're working on that you don't believe that you can invest the time in for a couple years at least without seeing some sort of uh, kickback from it, don't even start it to begin with. I'm telling you that now because stuff does not pay out right away whatever investments that you're trying to do 
whatever business you're trying to grow, this stuff is not instant. It takes a massive amount of time and you're going to have to be willing to invest it. So again, if it is something that you've been thinking about and you want to do it, first ask yourself before trying to execute it. Is this something that you can dedicate a couple years to at least? A year, two years? I say two years. Is this something that you can dedicate yourself to for a good two years without seeing any type of kickback? If the answer is no, don't start it. You'll be wasting your time. You'll be wasting whatever money that you're putting into it, ultimately for it to fail. Because you're gonna get frustrated too soon about the fact that you're not making any money from it. You're gonna kind of half-ass with your effort on it. You're not gonna put in those long hours, you know, making sure that it can grow. So only start on things that you really believe you can dedicate yourself fully to. So that's the theme, guys. Not only for like weight loss, fitness, uh, reaching dreams. It is a marathon, not a sprint. It's not gonna be a quick, short thing. It is gonna be a long, drawn out thing. And you gotta be ready for it. You gotta be mentally prepared in order to see it through. Now, when it finally works out for you, all that blood, sweat, equity that you put into it, people aren't gonna remember any of that. And that's fine, because oftentimes this was a journey you were doing by yourself. They're gonna think that your success happened overnight. Oh, you're so lucky. You started this business, you started that, you tried to do this, and it just like seemed like it just happened overnight for you. It didn't happen overnight for you. It's just they weren't paying attention. That's why it seems like it was instant for them. But you remember the sweat equity that you put in because you were the one driving it forward. People love to try to downplay your accomplishments as if it was luck. It wasn't luck. None of this stuff happens for us by luck. It happens for us by sheer will and determination, being stubborn. Don't give up on your shit. If you are willing to give up on your dreams, on your aspirations, you can't expect anybody else to believe in them. You have to be the driving factor. So don't give up on your shit. Because if you give up, then, uh, you know, people, no one else is going to care. They're not going to encourage you to keep pushing on a dream of yours. Because in many cases, they don't want to see you fulfill what you're chasing anyway. So that's it on this topic for now, guys. This feels like something that I probably could expand on in a later video. So there might be a part two to this. But I appreciate y'all connecting with me. I'm going uh, to uh, keep walking. I'm almost done with my 10,000 steps. I've been out here you know just doing this and that but if you guys like this video give me a like if you uh are not subscribed please do so i appreciate you guys your comments as i said i read all of them you know even even the haters i appreciate y'all too man because at the end of the day i don't just want opinions of people who agree with me you know, a lot of y'all are going to agree with me, but there are going to be people who don't. And I appreciate the ones who don't, too. So talk to you guys later. Peace.